Hi, I'm Paddy Williams. I'm a research scientist at the National Physical Laboratory and I'm going to show you around my lab, which is mass metrology. So, this is a bit of an odd lab. It's very clean with big marble surfaces. This isn't what all labs look like. Um, because we're doing really, really sensitive measurements, we've had to make the lab accustomed to that. So, because all of these things here, which are balances, which are used for calibration and comparing mass weights with each other, we have to have a really thick surface so that they don't move around the place. So, the main purpose of this lab is to work on the mass scale for the UK. So we do measurements on jet engines, we make sure antibiotics have got the right active ingredients in them, and generally make sure everything's working properly. One of the things is we're the top of the supply chain for the UK, so even when you're in Tesco putting apples on a scale, that is affected by the work we do here. There's a big long supply chain and every time you take a step down the supply chain, you get less accurate, but we're at the top with the kilogram. So one of my jobs is to look after the kilogram. So it's kilogram number 18 and it, up until the 20th of May 2019, defined all mass for the UK. So it's a little lump of metal made of platinum iridium and it is a kilogram by definition. Um, unfortunately, I can't get it out right now. It's locked away in the safe and I'm not good enough to open the safe. Um, I know the code, but it's quite fiddly. Um, so if I just show you around a few of these things. So we do a range of masses. So we go from the big to the small. So if you have a look in here, we've got some tiny masses, which I'm calibrating at the moment. So these masses will be used to make scales work, which make antibiotics or something similar to that. Um, so yeah, we've got the small ones, each one of these balances does a different thing and ensure that the UK is getting the right measurements. Um, we come over here, we've got some much bigger masses. So there's the tiny ones over there, which are about a microgram. And then we have the bigger ones over here. So this is a 10 kilogram weight. Um, so we vary in size slightly. So this is another one of the bigger weights. So this is a 20 kilogram weight. Um, We've got a crane to pick it up instead of us doing it. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Um, but this is a very historic department. So we got the kilogram in 1889 and we've been looking after it ever since. Um, so the kilogram has some issues. Because it is just a lump of metal, it can change mass over time. So the scientific community met in first eye, that was it, um, in 2018 to vote on the redefinition of the kilogram. So this was where we all sat in a room together and decided who's in favour of redefining the kilogram and the system of units. Um, luckily it was a universal yes, we all voted yes to redefine the kilogram, which is very exciting. And on the 20th of May that definition kicked in. So there's two different ways of redefining the kilogram and I'll show you both of them now. This is one of the methods and this is probably the prettiest method of it all. So this is a silicon sphere. Get it out. So the silicon sphere is a very, very, very round object. Um, and because of this, we can measure the volume really accurately and the lattice spacing, and from that, say how many atoms equal a kilogram. So this is an Avogadro sphere, and it's one of the roundest objects on Earth. This one's made of natural silicon rather than enriched silicon 28, which means it's slightly cheaper. But because of the way it's machined, we can measure the volume of it very accurately. And then also we can measure the lattice spacing to see how many atoms are inside it. So the, this process is called X-ray crystal density measurements, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, this is obviously a really great experiment. It's not the one we've chosen, which I'll show you now. So this here is a kibble balance. So it was invented at MPL in 1975 by a guy called Dr. Brian Kibble. Unfortunately, Brian passed away a couple of years ago, so didn't see the redefinition, but the scientific community decided to call it a kibble balance after him. So this is one of the ways of redefining the kilogram. The basic principles is there's a magnet in the top, magnet in the bottom, and then a coil. Once you pass a coil through the current in a magnetic field, it produces a force, so this platform can move up and down. If we take the mass off, 
We know very accurately why, where this centre column is at all times. So, if we unhook it, we can add the current and move this to a certain point that we know very accurately. Once we've got a mass on, something we want to measure, it will drop back down. To get it back to the place it was before, you add more current and balance it out again. So from electricity, we can get mass. Um, this is one of the balances of the future. We haven't designed it properly yet, um, but this is the main aim of what it probably will look like. Um, it's in a very exciting time, and my boss has been working on this since 1976, so a long time coming as well. Because these are so, so accurate, we need everything to be in line with it as well. So we need really accurate temperature control, really accurate gravity measurement. What we have in the lab in Vroom uh, Bushy House is a mark on the floor that says the exact gravity at that point. We had an ordnance survey that came in. So we've got a plaque with a little target in the middle saying we know gravity at this point very, very accurately. Um, so yeah, this is one of the methods of redefining the kilogram. And MPL, has been pioneers in this, but it really truly has been an international effort. All labs around the world are working together to create a robust mass system. Um, so everyone's helping out and we're just playing our part as well. Thank you so much for coming to have a look around my lab. If you want to find out more about how to get into physics and how I got into physics, which isn't the traditional route, watch the video in the description bar below.